existence of the HIV virus has never been shown in the way that I'm describing. And yet it's supposed to cause AIDS. Well, for instance, Freddie Mercury, the great queen singer, didn't actually die of AIDS. He died from a drug called AZT. AZT was so toxic, it was brought out as a chemotherapy drug to treat cancer. But it was so toxic, can you imagine a chemotherapy drug deemed too toxic that it was taken out of use? And so when AIDS came along and Fauci was involved in all this as well, they brought AZT off the shelf. And what did AZT do? It destroyed the immune system. That's what it did with its toxicity. Freddie Mercury was told that he um, had tested positive for HIV and took AZT, which destroyed his immune system. And they said he died of AIDS, which is the, in the official narrative, the destruction of the immune system. That technique is exactly the one that's been used with the COVID virus and all that's followed. No coincidence that uh, a very famous basketball player in America called Magic Johnson tested positive for HIV, went on AZT, thank you Fauci, got very sick and cut off it. Magic Johnson is still alive today. So the HIV story is to such an extent the COVID virus story. Yeah. So, if you know anything about Freddie Mercury, he apparently, he got some uh, marks on his arm. Uh, I don't know what it was called. It was called something, Sarkozy something, I don't know what. Like a skin, they say, a skin disease kind of a thing. Therefore, because of that mark, he went to, to do a checkup. And when he did the checkup, what do you think happened? They said, oh, you got the H, I, and the V. You know what I mean? Okay. And then they gave him AZT, which is known to be offing you, offing your immune system. Okay. Now, the interesting thing with this is this. What has been said about Freddie Mercury, why he got that mark is because apparently he's been popping Molly. I believe that's ecstasy, if I'm not mistaken. Some something like that. He'd been taking a lot of ecstasy or something like that, and that can give you uh, marks like that. So he was not sick at all, really. He was just using that drug, Molly. And then, because of that motherfucker, Fauci, he died because he used this drug for years. Okay? Magic Johnson used it for two weeks. And he's still alive today. So that motherfucker, Dr. Phony, is responsible for this.